Right, so this is Kasai Su, back for some more Dark Cloud 2. And we're here with me, I'm Suikad, I'm returning again. And we have a new guest, me, Scurvy Kip. Hey. You might Howdy. remember me for some such classics as every other LP in the sub forum. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, first we gotta, um, we gotta do a little bit of cleaning up before we go into some dungeons. Specifically, getting some Fruit of Edens, and getting some things from Donnie. And but, after this, he will never give us anything useful again. No, not until we take more pictures for him. I don't know why he needs pictures. Did you just that diamond looked like your fist? It's Did a, you just give you that? He lives yeah, in the he gave sewer. Us a diamond. He lives in the sewer, and he gave us a diamond. Yeah. He's get his priority strength. Yep. This is all out of order because I did it like part way through the uh, bonus photo video, so that's why it's all jumping back and forth. But he has one more thing to give us since I got my photography level up to 200. It is the best thing he'll ever give us. Oh, the diamond isn't a slouch either. It's the best synthesis item in the game. Wait until you see what he gives us. Oh, uh, I don't remember. Even though I've played this game, I've been playing this game for like a week straight. Explorers. Ah, uh, yeah. This is it's such a good like hat. An it is an awesome hat. I have that hat. Mm -hmm. he, he also gives you explorer boots and an explorer vest eventually. That entire kit is Max's best costume, in my opinion. I, I'm I like to keep it classy and put, use the explorer hat with the uh, other shoes or the uh, the vest and the uh, dragon shoes. Spoiler: You get dragon shoes. I'm not going to say what. <laughs> it says they're good against fire, but they aren't really. So uh, yeah, I did some grinding with the ride pod, get it some EXP. I bought a barrel cannon with it. The barrel cannon is a really good weapon for this uh, mm -hmm. chapter. For once, you can buy it from Cedric before you can make it yourself. So, I just bought it. And Max The only time you buy things yeah. is when you can't make them yourself. Exactly. Yeah, Max was looking a little weak, so I just gave him some forbidden fruit and potato pie. He'll be off. He'll be okay. Anyway, let's get started with uh, the actual dungeoning of this dungeon crawler. I hope we don't run into any rainbow butterflies. <laughs> I saw that post, yeah. So yeah, Rainbow Butterfly Wood is um, it's a significant difficulty increase from Chapter 1, The Sewers. Uh, it's still not very tough, but you can definitely notice some of the enemies kind of out to get you. Not really in this area, but in later areas. They introduced some really, really annoying enemies in this dungeon. Specifically one. In this chapter. That yeah. I'll go into detail with. Actually, there's more than one in my opinion, but... Ah. Uh, there's one that stands out among the rest. <laughs> you know which one it is. Oh yeah, and I finally figured out the trick to um, winning those coin flips. You just mash X, like as soon as it gives you the option, and you'll always get Angel. At least in my experience. Someone posted that, I'm not sure who. Anyway, we're using Monica and we're killing foreign enemies. These uh guys are kind of annoying, if only, if only for one of their gimmicks that they have. Yeah. If you didn't have a problem against the mole rats from Chapter 1, you probably won't have a problem against the uh, skeleton soldier. It's not shown off in this video, but when you kill them, they have a chance to come back to life with a little bit of health. Kind Great. of. Great. Yeah. I'm surprised they only do it once, though. You'd think skeletons could come back to life as many times as they want. I've actually had a glitch where it happened, where they just kept coming back to life as soon as I killed them. So I had to like wait two seconds, and then for some reason they decided to die. I don't know why. This game can glitch up sometimes. Yeah, yeah. In really random ways. No, it's not the most polished game of all time, but I do enjoy it. It's got a nice atmosphere. Alright, so this is our first scoop of the video. We have to take a picture of this while it's smiling, like that. That's a smile. Could have fooled me. It's a spooky smile. Yeah. I didn't want to show off the ride pod just yet because it's kind of overkill for these things. Just a little bit. But there's no kill like overkill. <laughs> no, there isn't. 
The man-eating grass is really easy just because... Um, they're stationary. Yeah, they don't move at all. And also their projectiles go in an arc, so you can just... Like, they'll usually shoot over you. So yeah, the reason I'm only using Monica is, um, you might have seen at the start of the video, there's a challenge for only using Monica's sword. And, and you can get it up to, uh, snuff that way anyway. Yeah, none of her weapons are upgraded at all. Didn't bother grinding with her. So there's actually a lot of enemies in this area. More than there has ever been in the sewer. I think there's 18, 6 of each type. Oh, and we just got the, the fairy saw. It's the equivalent of the gate key from the sewer. Or the key hand. So you can cut down trees? Oh, yeah. N it's, no, it only works on one specific tree. And then it's gone. You have to make sure to, like, just only like real cut. saws. Yeah, you have to make sure to cut it in such a way that it'll fall over exactly the way you want. In case you didn't know, Max and Monica are professional lumberjacks. goes along with Max's career as a photographer and a plumber. And an yeah. inventor. <laughs> and an explorer. That too. I wanted to hit both these guys at the same time. Ended up turning out very badly. It's a good thing you didn't die. That would have been embarrassing. Would have been very embarrassing. Yeah, in the first dungeon of the... Yeah. So I just said screw it and I started charge attacking these guys to death. I wasn't sure if rocks count against you for the uh, only use the sword challenge. Yes, it does. It does? It sucks. Yeah, it, 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 anything that does damage that isn't the sword. Yeah. Just wanted to be safe. But they do count towards uh, using only items. Oh, right, yeah. I never bothered with the use only items one because you need like 30 bombs in order to beat it. All right, and that's all the enemies. Looks like we got them all. It's pretty fancy animation, in my opinion. And we got a medal for that. We only need 64 more before we can get Monica's Panther Ensemble. Awesome. Because there's nothing else you can possibly buy with it. Of course not. Nothing useful, anyway. I never really use the name change ticket. That saw is possessing fairy power, which is a good thing because this is a tree possessing fairy enchantments. That's a good thing you can use that tree to get over that grass. Yeah. Could you imagine if we had <laughs> to jump over that like five foot gap? Like characters. I don't know. Be, Could be done. She characters is a in princess. this. Yeah, characters in this game have no jumping ability. We've seen that before. Like in every cutscene. I like how we've been using Monica this whole time, but she still gives Max a bunch of crystals. The crystals are much smaller than the treasure chests have them appear. Yeah, yeah. If that's the case, then that huge treasure chest must have, like, a small little ball in it. It's really inefficient. So basically, Aww. she gives us... Yeah. She gives us a heart. Why can't she do that more? Gives us six synthesis points. It's kind of a big deal. It is. Let's use them all right away. I did some grinding on the wrench and gun as well, so we're going to synthesize some Clearly you need to level it up to plus 14. Oh my god. <laughs> the way leveling up works in this game, every level requires double the experience as the last level. Oh, great. Yeah. That adds up really quickly. Once again, that doesn't look like a wrench at all. Nope. So yeah, let's throw all this onto the true battle wrench. I actually goofed a little bit here. The true battle wrench is a max attack stat of 20. So it's only going to get 3 attack from this. It's the... Oh, uh, did you put any stats on the actual other wrench? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, so at least you're getting that. Yeah, no, see, it's getting 11 flame and 10 lightning smash and beast. So that's pretty good. The other four stats, fuck them. We don't need them. Yeah, no. We don't fight anything that needs that. 
Like skeletons? Nah. Exorcism? Screw that. And I'm gonna wait until I level it up to about 3 before I upgrade it. Because otherwise I'd be wasting synthesis points. Couldn't have that. Let's make a trumpet gun. This game has some really weird weapons. Mm -hmm. I think this is actually the most weird. Now that I think of it. Okay, that looks exactly like I thought it was going to. What yep. will they think of next? It's a trumpet. The world may never know. I'm still not sure what I'm going to use the diamond on, the wrench or the gun. I'm not using it on anything Monica has. Screw that. Max's weapons are actually interesting. Speaking of, uh, there's no more only use the sword. So I'm going to go crazy with ride pods and wrenches and all that good stuff. What's the uh, right. condition? I actually don't know. All no. I know is I didn't get it. Probably because you didn't follow it. Oh, God. Yeah. Now, first we're going to fight the pumpkin head. I have to take a picture of it when it takes the bomb out of its barrel. Oh, never mind. When it spins its thing around. Yeah, those things are, like, really, really weak to mm -hmm. everything. And we're not going to get to that enemy just yet. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face it. Oh, my God. I hate this enemy, I hate this scoop, I hate everything about the molar. When do you need to take this picture? Uh, you when can it's take jumping it. out. Yeah. Curses uh, you too. Why the hell not? Curse makes it so that you're unable to change weapons, I think. Um, it's either change weapons or repair them, I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's change weapons. Yeah. Which really doesn't matter in right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Floating Earth Digger. See, they don't get staggered by your attacks, and they're underground, so you can't use guns on them. Basically, whenever you attack a molar, you're gonna get hit. I hate molars. The only good thing about them is that you can still hit them while they're moving underground. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're relatively, if, you know, but, weak. But, but you can't shoot them. You can't shoot them. You can, it's just really, really hard. It's not worth it at all. Mm -hmm. One of the few good things about Monica's armband is that guys, it just homes in on it. Are you guys ready for a stealth mission? We have to take, we have to take a picture of this while it's sleeping. Is it sleeping right now? It's sleeping right now. But we're out of range of the camera, so we have to get a little bit closer without waking it up. This camera existed before zoom functions. You can zoom, but it doesn't do anything. There, I'm done with that. The barrel cannon is really overpowered for this point in the game. And it'll become completely obsolete. Yeah. Once we get a picture of Runaway Dragon. Mix machine gun arms. And then you get that prize in one of the chapters. Oh, Should um, be better. oh yeah, the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about what we're talking about. It's probably not important. Probably isn't. It will never be important. Because since you're going for 100% in this game... Yeah, you'll, you'll find it out. It won't be for about a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Right, um, tours look like they're difficult. They're actually a whole lot easier than the vanguards. Because they're not made out of metal, so you can hit them with your wrench. 30 damage. That's not that bad, eh? They do spit out little mini tree things. Mm -hmm. Really annoying. Yeah, they explode on you. They're mostly used to kill the ride pod. Anyway, let's get out of here. Just didn't bother even showing the rest of the enemies. They're all the same that we've seen before. Yeah. It's a dungeon crawler. It's used to reusing enemies and level design. So are you just cutting out everything except abject failure and new things? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't fail as much as I should in this next video, though. Oh, only using Monica's magic. Yeah. Which no, is useful because you have the red seal. 
Mm -hmm. The red seal. The red seal is the, wor <sighs> the second worst seal. I don't know, which one's worse than that? The white seal? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. We'll find out about that one, too. Soon enough. Soon enough. Max has the red atlamelia around his neck. You can't use him at all in this. He's grayed out. Look at that. No, he's TB'd Which means out. you also can't use the ride pod. Yeah. <sighs> that is the greatest tragedy of this dungeon. Because, you know what they decide to uh, introduce in this dungeon? Turtles. Oh, you know great. Max is good against? Turtles. Turtles. Yep. You have to kill four of them. And one of them has a gate key. Yeah, screw you too, level 5. Anyway, uh, Monica's Magic, you, you probably saw this in the um, in the first fight of the game. But uh, Monica's Magic, you can charge it up to deal more damage than the gun, but if you don't charge it up, it does less damage than the gun. I don't think it's it also that. homes. Yeah. Which is very, it's actually very useful. Mm hmm. Because there are some things the gun just cannot hit. That looked like a lot of enemies. That was a lot of enemies, but I didn't bother to show. So that was like five minutes of fighting. See the dark coin. Wow, you're fucking lucky. Yeah, I now don't have I to hate spend. You. I don't have to spend fifteen hundred on one for Donnie. The dark you're coin. Also really fucking useful. Yeah, if really you really useful. If you throw it on your weapon, it um, causes you to take damage every time you attack, but it does a whole lot more damage. So yeah, don't put them on. Don't put them on machine gun. <laughs> yeah, I put one on machine on a machine gun in my first playthrough. It wasn't a very good idea. Because it's the amount of health it takes away is static per attack, isn't it? You bet it is. Yep, every shot you fire. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how much damage that attack does. <laughs> it, yeah, it's a static one percent of your max HP every time you take, every time you attack. Right. So you'll notice I only brought two bombs in here because I sold all my advanced bombs to Eric because I'm intelligent. <laughs> Planning. Now oh, what's that? I thought that was gonna miss for a second. Yes, they can guard against magic somehow by just tucking their head in. Fuck but, these tortoises. By the way, tortoises, uh, have you guessed what their weak point is yet? You'd think it'd be their head, right? No, it's their shell. I don't Never know change. why either. You didn't defeat that guy using Monica's magic. I did not defeat that guy using Monica's magic. I've used bombs anyway, screw it. I'll run through all the dungeons later when I have, like, end game weapons. I'll do this really quickly. Yeah, there's one. Th this one is doable in this chapter, but it's a pain in the ass. But, mm -hmm. um, see, now. One in, the, one in one of the later ones is pretty much impossible at this point in the game. See, I'm out of bombs? So I had the bright idea to uh, decide to make some bombs, right? So use the whole uh, invention system to my advantage. Be the kind of player that level. Why up. haven't you made all the inventions you can make at this point? I'm a, I'm the biggest. Or at least player. invented them. I want to make sure we have all the scoops. It's quite a lot of scoops. Yeah, and some of them just won't be used ever. Ever there are yeah there is something that won't be used ever. So anyway, we need a weapon shot, sign a pot, and a candle. What's the shop sign for? I can understand the pot and the candle. You use it to think like oh. I can make a weapon with these two things. If you use the, uh, like, Polly's shop sign, you can make food out of a pot and a candle. Say cheese. So yeah, I'd bomb. like to see that. Let's make a bomb. Never mind, I didn't bring any gunpowder in. Well, that's too bad. Fuck it. Screw it, I'm going. Done with this. That is a lot of enemies in there. I actually showed this one off because I thought it was pretty impressive. And I only I'm have one show us your sweet moves. Yeah. Well, see, the, the most dangerous part about uh, Red Seal Dungeons is that if you die with Monica, it's a game over because you don't have any character to switch to. Yeah. It, I have no shame in saying that I have gotten a game over on this level my first time playing through. Yeah. So I just played it real because safe. Because who right uses here. Monica? <laughs> Actually, my first time playing, uh, I didn't use Monica at all. So all the fights where you had to use Monica just took me like 20 tries. Because you were doing one damage. Yeah, exactly. 
I have the obsessive tendency to level everything evenly. <laughs> oh, don't I know that? See, I gave up on Pokemon after Gen after Gen two. So. I still play it, but I still level everything equally. Oh my god! Just level your starter up to a hundred. That's all you need to do. I know. I did that as a kid. I can, you know. It's it's a shame that that's what's the most effective strategy. Yeah. No. If the game's not going to reward me for uh, leveling everything equally, why should I try it? It doesn't even punish you for leveling one thing more than the others, really. Mm -hmm. See, now here I had the bright idea to try using rocks on tortoises. Because, you know, that'll work, right? Well, we'll see, won't we? I miss with it. Except you miss. Yeah. Way to go. I'm really good at this game, I swear. Don't worry, there's another rock there that you can miss with. I this sure one you don't miss with this one. I don't miss with this one. So now, the annoying thing about tortoises, um, I'm not sure what they're made of, but they're made of something like metal. So every time unobtainium. you attack Yeah, unobtainium. So every time you attack them, your weapon durability goes down a lot. Does that charge attack normally reduce your durability, or does it just figure out a way to reduce it when you hit the tortoise? Um, it reduces it regardless of whether you hit or yeah, not. Yeah, melee attacks only reduce your durability if you hit an enemy, while ranged attacks always reduce it every time you shoot. Uh, you know, you notice how I haven't got the gate key yet? Because it's in the last it's on enemy. The very last one. Of course, it's in the very last enemy. And sorry, you mean the fairy saw? Right, silly me. Oh my god. Yeah, his attacks come out really fast for a tortoise. Yeah. This enemy is just pretty damn annoying. What, did they have to introduce him on a red seal stage? Like, really? Yes. <laughs> god damn it. To make you feel good about killing them with Max. Yeah. They don't give you Max until you've proved you don't need him. <laughs> My weapon breaks Way the last to go. Hit. I definitely didn't notice that. I just concentrated on killing him. Yeah, I've had that happen a couple times. There. Finally done. Now do it all with Monica's armband. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> now let's, let's get out of here. I didn't bother fade cutting this because it's like a 10 second walk. No, am I reading that, am I reading that map that you haven't at the bottom? Gone to yet. Oh, you guys are both talking at the same time. What's that thing yeah. in the bottom there? That's a secret area. Um, we got the tree branch so we can get rid of the spider web. But all it has is a uh, coin flip and a treasure chest. And it's on the other side of the map, so I just said screw it. I can't wait till you can use Steve for transportation, and he's not <sighs> slower than everyone else. Yeah, everybody in the thread seems to want the uh, the spider leg, or the multi-feed, or whatever it is. Ah. Uh, and I can agree with that. It's for chumps. It's the propeller, <laughs> propeller leg where it's at. You only get the propeller leg in Chapter 4. It's, it's forever away. Uh, yeah, at the rate you're updating, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hey, there they are! The whole lot of them! Hold on, something's up. Huh? Yeah, something weird's going on. Let's try talking to them. Well, okay. Oh, so how many more mustaches is Monica gonna pull? Unfortunately, zero. But there's there's potential for about three or four mustache pullings. <laughs> so all these guys are incredibly drunk. I forgot to talk to that guy in the middle who's laying down, but he he says more of the same. All right, 
Everyone's gone all weird. The fish aren't biting. What a drag. What happened to him? Beats me. I got separated from my three buddies, and when I saw them again, they were like that. They won't go anywhere, you see. So I'm just killing time with a little fishing. Although, you know what? I'm uh, pretty thirsty. You wouldn't have something to drink now, would you? Mmm, uh, something smells good, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, you, you're doing what I did my first time through, aren't you? I got something to drink, all right. No, it's not that. It's not holy water, either. It's don't, poison. Don't drink this by accident. It's okay, because he's drinking Sorry, it on purpose. That stuff's not really to my oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> I tried giving him the tasty water my first time. <laughs> like, it's tasty water. It's not just any water. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Although, you know what? I'm uh, pretty thirsty. Mmm, uh, something smells... Ah, this'll do nicely. Just what I wanted. Thanks. Here, you can have my rod. Take some time for fishing. It'll clear your head. Come back any time if you run out of bait. You can abuse the hell out of this, but oh, I didn't. You better believe I will abuse the hell out of this. Because you get a better rod anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Spoiler, you get a better rod later in the yeah. game. You, you oh, so have... you have the old rod now, and you're gonna go get the, the good. Is there a super rod too? <laughs> Fortunately, no. There's just a lure rod. You get way later. I like how that spins. Physics. And you get the different. You get the uh, dungeon clear music too. Yeah. All right, so let's just start fishing. Some pretty chill fishing music. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this it, the good thing about this rod is it's much less of a pain in the ass to use than the lure rod. Yeah. You know what? Now that I think of it, didn't he say that uh, nothing was really biting in this water? No, you can get fish in here. Okay. I didn't think you could because it took, like, nothing was biting at all. It just said screw it. Let's go over here. See, so look at it spin. It's awesome. It puts some uh, pretty good detail into that animation. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, this is how fishing works. Um, whenever it starts, um, like, it, you'll show... You, sorry. You'll see a lot of wavy lines around it. When the uh, bobber sinks in, you press back on the left stick, and this starts. And then you just press X to start reeling it in. It's more or less self-explanatory. Uh, if the danger meter gets all the way to the top, then you lose the fish. So we caught we caught a pristine. Yes, you level your fishing rod in this game. Yep. As weird as that sounds. And you level it using fish. <laughs> Don't get pricked. All right. So I did a heck of a lot of fishing. Uh, this is the highlight from my fishing ex extravaganza. You can oh, see how your one that's like this big. Oh my god! Yeah, you can see how fast that's going up. It took a lot of time. Oh, that's because it's fast forwarding, though. Well, no, but even when I was playing through it, it went up super fast. I would only imagine what kind of fish you'd have to catch if it went up that fast. <laughs> Seventy-six centimeters. That's a, big, that's a big fish. It's a pretty big fish. Anyway, I've caught, I've caught bigger. <laughs> so yeah, this is the reason why you can abuse fishing so much in this area. That looked like a lot of fish. Yeah. It is a lot of fish. Every time you run out of bait, he gives you five mimi. Ah. So it's free bait. Yeah. Yeah. Only for this area, though. Once you progress the story, he stops giving you bait. That's why I did a whole bunch of fishing right here. Did you level up your fishing rod? I did not level up my fishing rod. I'm still not sure what to level up. Like, Don't grip level up luck. grip. No, don't level up grip? 
No, it's completely useless. All it does is uh, change how sensitive the uh, controller rumble is. Oh, okay. That's dumb. And you can see, like, there's visual feedback whether or not you're catching, right? Yeah. Yeah. closer? Yeah, it's all right. He's a pretty well-behaved monster. He doesn't hurt people. But it looks like something's wrong with him. Is he okay? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Humans, hmm? Don't see them every day. Now that I think about it, there was another half-pint bumbling around earlier. This forest started to get nice and crowded these days. Never mind that. You look like you're in pain. What happened? It's pitiful, really, but I was awful hungry and somehow got my hands on the forbidden fruit. When I did, my whole body just up and froze like this, and I couldn't move. My fault for messing with the Holy One's food. I'll bet the Holy One must be pretty ticked off right about now. So you ate one of these, huh? It's a poison apple. No wonder you don't feel so good. Never mind, don't worry. You'll feel better after you rest for a while. By the way, who's this Holy One? The Holy One is a great fish who's brought happiness to this forest. A holy fish? Monica, maybe this has something to do with those three back there. Aha! I think I'm starting to understand now. This Holy One must have bewitched those three somehow. I bet the Holy One is really a big fish monster. Well then, Master Utan, where can we find this Holy One? Didn't you see a big old swamp on your way here? They say the Holy One lives in that swamp. I haven't seen him myself yet. Swamp, huh? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I remember. Let me see. A big fishy monster named the Holy One that hangs out in the swamps bewitching people. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Let's go check it out. Right. Thanks, Master Utan. You've been a big help. Hey, don't forget to mind your manners when you're dealing with the Holy One. You know, that gem on his arm, I always thought it was like the Atlamelia that Max and Monica wear. But nope. No. By the it's way, it's not he's important at all. No, it actually isn't important at all. Yeah. Hmm. They must have just thrown it in there and then accidentally it's like, oh. Whatever. Why don't we try fishing it out? Huh? Fish it out? Well, we've got a fishing rod. We know the Holy One likes poison apples. And we've got plenty of bait. Let's give it a try. Go on now, try it. Uh, okay. Because when you're dealing with a fish called the Holy One, the obvious course of action is to um, stick a fishing rod in his lip. Home. Alright. So let's just go ahead. Let's get hooked. I mean, this, this couldn't possibly end poorly, right? No way on earth.
What's going on here? There's a hook stuck in my beautiful lips. Is this your doing? I won't forgive this. You're the one that made the little ones act so strangely. You must change them back. Oh, yes. More victims of my beauty. Really, beauty can be a curse, you know. Anyway, why are you here? I already told you. I want you to change those little furbits back to the way they were. Well, such a thing would be quite simple, my dears. But nothing comes for free, you know. Business is business, and everything's business. Oh boy, this is gonna be another pain. So what do you want us to do? So the little boy understands, too. Listen carefully, then. I won't say this again. Mwah. As everyone knows, I'm very fond of beautiful things. But here's the thing. Recently, you know, I've become a bit, well, dirty. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But listen to this. There's a fish called the Prisline Fish that can clean up all the dirt from my body. So what I'd like you to do is go over there and catch it for me. You've got all that fishing gear, so you may as well use it, don't you think? Well, do you get my drift? <laughs> a Prisline Fish? Okay, and when we get it, we want you to return those three back to normal. Yes, I know, I know. You don't have to tell a man twice. What? You're a guy? I'll be waiting. Actually, were they the gray ones? Yep, they're the gray ones. Right, so um, we already have a Prisclean fish. First, we have to take a picture of this uh, fabulous gentleman. For the memories. <laughs> it's incredibly hard to figure out where to talk to this fabulous gentleman. You, you couldn't give him the fish from right there. Alright, so we have like 11 Ten of them. them. Yeah, let's just... Kiss all the grime off my body and make me look stunning again. <laughs> yeah. Right, you promised return those three to normal. Oh, yes, of course. Is this what you were after? So now those three are better? Well, why don't you go have a look? Well, uh, please excuse me. I wish you the best. <laughs> well, he's certainly cheerful. I'll give him that. Let's go and look. Right. It's a sh it's a shame that such a uh, well developed and amazing character could only stay in the game for about seven minutes. Bloody shame. King Martin is easily one of the most memorable characters of this game. Anyway, he used a magic spell. Let's go see how the Furbits are doing. Hey! How is everyone? Oh, they suddenly returned to normal. I'm so relieved, I can't tell you. What in the world have I been doing? I cannot remember a darn thing. Last thing I remember, I was thirsty, and I drank some of that swamp water. 
I can't remember anything past that either. What in the world happened to us? You've all been under the Holy One's spell. The Holy One? Who's that? It's a fish monster that lives in the swamp. You guys almost ended up trapped here forever. Oh, that's crazy. Well, what are we going to do about Holly? Oh, sure. We got to look for Holly. Hold on, guys. We should come up with a plan first. Let's go back to Sindane. Now I was hoping that it would be the cure to all illnesses. Death. Well, naturally. Unfortunately, this game's rated T.